Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here on yet another glorious bagel Sunday. It's crappy out, it's still been pissing rain. Don't know if it's supposed to do that all day. I thought that I read that it was gonna go until like nine or so, and, uh, and then it was gonna stop. It isn't raining now, it's 1025. We slept in, much to the cat's chagrin. He was freaking yowling since like six o'clock this morning, trying to get us to wake up. So today, Oh, I guess I should also say that I had gone back and forth about how I wanted to do the studio setup for filming. And I thought, you know what, maybe I can use the, the small wall where I put the black fabric. Maybe it'll be wide enough. It just wasn't. I, I had to zoom in to 45 millimeters on the A6700 just to cut out the window and the side of the, like the, the side of the wall, basically. It kind of defeated the purpose of like having all that open space. So I spun everything around 45 degrees now, and now my back is to the entire blue wall, and I slid the mobile filming unit around and pushed it all the way back kind of towards my printer and, and you know, I don't know, as far back as I could get it comfortably. And, and it's already a thousand times better. And, you know, I spun the desk obviously in the chair. That, that mobile filming unit is kind of the, the, you know, the elephant in the room because that thing is big. And, you know, it has to have a lot of space on the ground for, you know, the, the base to, sp to spread out and have the wheels on it and all that kind of shit. But there's no perfect solution. You know, it's a tiny ass little room that isn't meant for filming. I think I got it a, a, as best as I can get it. I'll show you how I switched the studio slash office around again, but not before I go in and get these bagels and take them home and snarf. So let's go get bagels. Bagels gotten. We are going to go home and eat the shit out of these bagels. All right, so I thought I would show you the studio the way that I have it set up now. It was bothering me. Like I said, I tried to think that I could use the length of the entire room where the dimension is longer to film against that black background. The problem was is that I had to move in so close to not get the window and I just didn't like it. So like I said, I shifted everything 45 degrees, turned it around so that it's facing that way. And now I have the mobile unit right here in the corner. And I also then switched the sides and I put this falcon eyes on that side and then use that little zoom m6 or m20 or whatever the hell it is since it's sitting here and thought well you know that way i've got light coming from that side and that side and then i took my light my aperture mc and set it up so that it's facing against the wall instead of straight up as you can see i've got plenty of light back there okay so now i'm going to switch over to the a6700 which i have set up for all the stuff to film in studio so switching now okay so now you can see that i have gotten everything kind of set up i've got my falconized light at a fairly almost as low as it can go and i have the june m20 whatever the hell it is um I'm not, that's probably how i'm going to refer to it the m whatever the hell it is uh, down to 10% and I've matched the Kelvin at 5600 and we should be good to go there and I'm kind of looking down at myself on this screen as well and it all looks nice and evenly lit so I have every light off in in the office side with the exception of the three monitors and the screen savers going on and then I have my blind closed but angled up so that I'm not getting any reflection from the street up through the louvers and if I wanted to I could pull out the the black like the sheer black curtains that i have over there to diffuse it even more but i don't think that it's necessary i think this looks fine i do seem to hear some reverb around here but that's just because now there's nothing on this wall and i'm not in the corner where all the sound just sort of like went in and was absorbed by the walls and and what i had on the walls um i mean there's still plenty of carpeting down here and all that kind of stuff but because i have it on here like this i don't think that that's going to be that big of an issue if i were using an external mic then yankee cowboy would be telling me your audio sounds like shit. so i think i'm good to go and i'm still looking at the screen um, which is even just a couple of inches off but it's enough for you to be able to tell so all right 
that's pretty much uh, what's going on. I, I do have it pretty much the way that it's going to be. I could see moving the uh, humidity cabinet, humidity controlled cabinet over here into this gap between the table and the lamp now. And that way I have studio photo video shit on this side and office on that side. Then I've got a little bit more room when I come in the door there instead of having it all jammed in there. So I don't know, maybe I'll do that right now and uh, see how that looks. But for the most part, other than a little tweaking, I'm done. You see, see how it happens. Shit starts going through my head and then I'm like, oh, you know what? I think I should try this. Ooh, maybe I'll do that. And it's like even sitting here as I was speaking the words, I think I'm all done. And then I looked over and thought, hmm, maybe I should move that over here. <laughs> see, it never ends. Let's tweak some shit and then get the hell out of here. Let's do it. All right, now it's 2.16. I think what I'm gonna do is just not drive all over like a fucking idiot. So I think I'm gonna go to three shifts and uh, get some afternoon bean and then go home and start my Sunday routine. Here's shit in your eye. Just showing Nick pictures of the, the new layout in the garage and in the, uh, the office and studio because he did remember at one time come and help me move my Pope chair in there. So I gave a tour of the house and he was just going through and I'm like, oh, dude, it looks so much cleaner and tighter now. So Nick's seal of approval. Second drink. So more shit in your eye. Enjoy. Okay, kids, the final twist in the tale. After much consideration, and this is over the past several months, I have decided to put the A7 IV back into circulation. So that's what I'm filming on now. The A7 IV with the 35 millimeter G Master on it. And then I have my Rode Wireless Go 2 set up on here. Sorry, hair in my mouth. That camera was one of the ones that I was gonna put on the chopping block. Well, that I put on the chopping block. And it was there and never got posted on the Sony sales group because they suck and it was the camera that the scammer tried to buy on Marketplace. Also, it is garnering about at least six to $800 less than I think that it's worth. So I refuse to lose that much money. It's paid for, I'm gonna use it. So this now is my studio camera. It will stay on this whole mobile setup with this wireless go to with my Falcon eyes light up there and that, uh, June M20C light over there. So that way I have light coming in from both sides, as you can see from the shadows behind me. And then I have an aperture MC behind me, uh, Velcroed to the back of the chair so that it is shining up behind me. So I kind of look like I've got a halo going on. And yes, I'm looking at the damn screen. We're just gonna have to get over that. As it stands right now, I turn the studio 45 degrees so that I'm not 45, maybe 90 degrees, I don't know. It's math, whatever. I turn the freaking studio around. So instead of filming against this black wall and having very narrow ability to move and having to zoom in so far that it kind of defeats the purpose of, of opening this whole place up, I've now switched it around. Now I have the entirety, like you can't even see my arms out all the way. And, and I've got, I just now, my fingers are touching the wall and over here, I'm not touching anything and I've got plenty of blue space behind me for that. So more than enough room, that's pushed back far enough that it's, I still have access right to the window and anything here. And I also have access to everything behind it, albeit a little bit cramped. This is the setup and I wanna know what you think. I removed it from picture profile 11, which was S Cinetone, and all my cameras now are set up to no picture profile on the standard creative profile, whatever it is. Now, again, I need to put shit back on the wall over here because it's not visible anyways. And it, it's so plain in this corner that it kind of bugs me. Although I dig the whole blue setup with, with the light behind it. I always did dig that. It is now pretty much exactly five o'clock. I was starting my laundry and then I realized I didn't actually finish this video. And then I was like, huh, I wonder if I should set this up. And then I started pulling the camera out and getting this all set up. So <laughs> you know how that goes. The monkey goes in 50 different directions. But at this point now, I need to get cracking on my laundry so I'm not doing it all damn night. And, um, and, and then maybe do some day job stuff. I don't know. I'm not really inclined to feel like doing anything, but I, I know I need to do a couple of things. So that's what we're gonna do. My studio is set up, my office side is set up. <sighs> now, 
for the rest of the month, I can wind down day job and just do fun stuff instead of having to do all this stuff. And yes, I am sore from all the shit that I've done this past week with the garage and in here. So that's all you get today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, and that would include letting me know what you think of what I've done, leave it down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.